After Arya is blinded and reduced to begging on the streets of Bravos, the waif forces Arya to fight her with two fighting sticks. Due to Arya's blinded state, the waif gains the upper hand over Arya and leaves her beaten and bruised. Before leaving, she tells Arya that she will be back the following day. The following day, the waif revisits Arya and asks her name. Though Arya replies that she is, no one, the waif is still unconvinced and beats her a second time. In response to the waif's taunt, Arya tries to fight back only to find that the waif has been replaced by Jack and Hagar. After testing Arya three times, he deems her worthy to rejoin the faceless men. Later, the waif continues training Arya in the house of black and white. The waif plays the game of faces with Arya, questioning her about her family, the hound, and the people on her kill list. Arya recites her list for the waif who comments that it is short and cannot be everyone she wants to kill. She then queries if Aya is forgetting, someone, implying herself. Aya then asks which name the waif would like her to speak suggesting the waif is not on her list because Aya does not know her name. The waif spars with Aya on a large stone tablet, during which the waif hits Aya with a fighting stick, despite Aya having no vision. These fighting lessons seem to go on for at least several days. At first the waif constantly outmaneuvers Aya, repeatedly knocking her to the ground. But eventually Aya manages to respond and defends herself with her own fighting stick to the point where the waif becomes visibly distressed. When Aya lands a blow of her own, the waif seemingly becomes overwhelmed with anger and makes a rash move which Aya intercepts, while Jacken observes. The waif then reluctantly leaves Aya alone with Jacken, who restores her sight after deeming her worthy of becoming a faceless man. The waif fights against Aya with staffs in the temple. She defeats her foe easily. At a certain point, she lays down her weapon. However, the waif still manages to outmaneuver Aya and punches her to the ground announcing that, Lady Stark, will never be one of them. Jacken enters soon afterwards, and the waif takes her leave. The waif is then sent by Jacken to keep an eye on Aya as she is tasked with assassinating Lady Crane. After finding that Aya has failed, the waif has a conversation with Jacken, suggesting that they came to a deal allowing the waif to kill Aya for her failure. After hearing Jacken's request to kill Aya humanely, the waif sets out to fulfill her mission. The waif eventually manages to locate Aya, and approaches her wearing the face of a feeble old woman. Before Aya can react, the waif pulls out a dagger and slashes Aya across the abdomen, before repeatedly stabbing her in the stomach, twisting the dagger as she aims, critically wounding her. Aya manages to momentarily escape by jumping into the canal, though her wounds begin to bleed out. Seeing the blood arise from the water, the waif leaves the scene, believing she is victorious in her task. However, Aya stumbles to the acting tent where she is found by Lady Crane, who then takes Aya and heals her at her home. The waif comes the next day, disguised as a young man, and kills Lady Crane, who had been sheltering Aya. She proclaims that Lady Crane's death would have been painless had Aya succeeded in her mission, as well as the fact that she is the next victim for the Red God. Suddenly, Aya leaps out the window and flees into the streets. Although temporarily fleeing into a bathhouse, Aya is unable to outrun the waif. The waif discovers her target in the upper market of Bravos, descending from a high parapet, using a large crowd of people to break her fall, before continuing her chase of Aya. Barely managing to stay ahead, Aya rolls down a broad flight of stairs, causing her wounds from her previous altercation with the waif to reopen. Aya then flees into an alleyway and uses her bloody hand to leave a bloody trail to a doorway, thus luring the waif into a darkened room that is only lit by a candle. She tells Aya that she can choose to die on her knees or on her feet. Aya rises to her feet, retrieving her sword needle from its hiding place under a blanket. With one quick slice of needle, the candle is chopped in half and the room is plunged into total darkness. Aya, having experience in fighting without sight, is victorious. Jacken later finds that Aya has murdered and ripped off the waif's face, gouged out her eyes and added it to the Hall of Faces, via a trail of the waif's blood throughout the House of Black and White. Aya then confronts Jacken, who admits sending the waif to kill her, but seems genuinely satisfied with the fact that Aya had bested her. Although he concedes that Arya's murder of the waif has finally made her, no one, she instead decides to return to Westeros as, Aya Stark of Winterfell.